Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. Today we're gonna get away from the makeup a little bit and talk about, can you guess? <laughs> I don't have a stitch of makeup on today. I don't know about you, I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way, but when it's summer, sometimes I just, I don't wanna have to put on anything, but I wanna feel comfortable in my own skin to leave the house makeup free. And so I'm going to talk about skincare today. I'm really going to talk about my routine that I really, I took a lot of time to research and try a lot of new products in order to formulate the perfect regimen for my skin. Um, using a lot of products that um, I get a lot of questions about. I wanted to talk about my nighttime skincare routine because if you aren't aware, that is at night is when your skin really heals and can absorb everything you're putting onto it. So I'm gonna get a little geeky, talk a little bit about science, but I promise just a tad, um, nothing too complicated, just bare minimum of what you need to know in order to develop your own regimen like I did and really like transform your skin in record time. And you guys know me, I'm frugal. Like I really studied and made sure I was going to buy products that would give me the most bang for my buck. So if you want to learn more about my skincare, I'm going to talk about it and explain how I formulated my regimen and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. So if you are new here, please subscribe and like this video if you like it, um, let me know. And yeah, let's just get into it, keep on watching. All right guys, let's get started. So little background about me, if you don't know, I am an organic chemist. So science, I understand. That being said, I know what these ingredients are but you gotta realize also that I have to research them just like anybody else because research is being done every single day about what the next best ingredient is or what it does. Like research is coming out constantly, what it, what it does for your skin. And so I love researching this kind of stuff, you guys. I probably started researching skincare um, six months ago when I really <laughs> wanted to get more serious. Okay. So I've always been kind of a product junkie, but when it comes to a skincare regimen, I could never be consistent until I discovered our trace lay chase system. So I'll talk a little bit about the milk in my video when I actually put it on, but, um, when I discovered mascara, I started using the milk system. It changed my skin and made my skin normal. I was no longer a combination. I no longer had problems at all, but I'm also several years older now and I wanted to start incorporating actives. So actives just pretty much means that you've got one ingredient in there that is doing most of the work in most of these products that I'm gonna be talking about they are all proven to be, to be, to do what they say they're going to do. Okay. So this is why if you don't know, I'm going to be talking a lot about ordinary products and with the ordinary products, they pretty much market, um, them as like, okay, this one single ingredient and this is what it is. So you don't have a bunch of fillers. You don't have a bunch of stuff that you don't know what it's doing in there. You're not paying for a lot of extra. You're paying for exactly what you're getting. And whereas instead of buying one serum and that's it, you might be using several in order to, I consider it customizing a regimen specifically for what you want for your skin right? So I am just a little bit, my goal right now, I am 36 and my goal is anti-aging. So I didn't take care of my skin when I was younger, like at all. Um, and it shows, and I'm trying to now reverse time 
which is a lot harder than just doing preventative measures when you're young. So if you're young and listening to this, don't do what I did. Like start now, prevent all these things and you're gonna save yourself a lot of money in the long run, I promise. So I'm trying to reverse, so anti-aging and I have pigmentation issues. You can't see this big guy on my cheek. He's slowly fading, but he, um, well, that's called hormonal. That is what happened when I had my three babies. And every time I had a baby, it got darker. So I'm trying to kind of reverse some of that, but otherwise I'm not really doing an acne regimen. Um, obviously overall I want more radiant, you know, brighter skin. Um, so I'm always looking for that kind of stuff too, like tone, texture, all that stuff, right? What pretty much anyone wants. So those are my goals. So I researched these products and I developed a regimen based on what I wanted, okay? And then you have to look at specific things in order to develop a regimen. So knowing my goals, um, you can go online and I um, went straight to The Ordinary, their website. So, on their website, it tells you if there's any conflicts with the product, what it's used for, if it's better for day or night or both, if it's light sensitive, um, and kind of orders too. So sometimes it'll tell you, make sure you're putting this on before any creams, that kind of thing. So in looking at all that, I picked out these products for how I want my skincare to go. So my number one question I always get is what order to put them on and what can you not mix together? So we're gonna go over that now. Okay, the order in which you apply your products. So first things first, obviously wash your face. If you wanna exfoliate, do a mask, do those two next, and then we're gonna get into the general products. So in essence, they are all pH based, meaning it goes from low pH to the highest pH when you're applying. But I don't want you to get too hung up on, oh my gosh, what is the pH of this product? So for the most part, if you follow these rules, you're gonna be just fine. And if you have any questions over like the general order of two, you might look up their information online to get their exact pHs because at least with this company, they're all listed. So. First things is gonna be your toner. So whatever toner you choose, um, I sometimes use the milk toner. On certain days, I use this glycolic acid toner. Obviously, this is a direct acid, so it is a very low pH, okay? pH 3.6. After I tone, you're gonna go into, so just think of it as the most water-like to the thickest, most oil-like, or the densest of all your products. So obviously toners, they usually spritz on or you put them on a cotton pad, wipe them on, they are pure liquid. So what else is pure liquid? Things like essences, um, uh, any like hyal hyaluronic acid is usually, at least mine is, like almost pure liquid or serums, okay? Like my buffet. So you wanna think of, of toners, essences, hyaluronics, and serums are all in that very thin consistency category. So tone first, I would then go into an essence. And then what I do is you'll see in my video, I use my buffet and then my hyaluronic because these are recommended to be applied in that order, which is why I do them that way. So then you're gonna go into retinols. Now, depending on the kind of retinol, I have one that is in squalene oil. So it is slightly more oilier than liquid, and that's why I apply that after my serums, but it's basically a serum, okay? And then you're gonna do eyes, night cream, moisturizer, okay, whatever. And then oils are the most dense. So my oil that I like is my uh, rose hip seed oil. It's extremely dense. And the reason for this is because if you put on 
any products after an oil, they're too dense for products to actually absorb through it. So oils, think of it almost as like you put that oil on your skin last. It's going to hold in everything you just put on it. So you don't want to layer to where things aren't going to be able to be absorbed through what you just put on before it. Does that make sense? So just think thin to thick. Okay. So that covers pH. If you follow that, you'll generally be just fine in the whole low to high pH. The next thing in order to develop your regimen is looking at products that are day only versus night and ones that can be used twice a day. So when I was putting together mine, I know my lifestyle. I would rather spend more time on my skincare at night and be able to do it really fast in the morning. So my one main product that I knew could not be met, could not be used at um, night with the rest of them is my vitamin C. So um, I don't talk about this in the video coming up because this is actually my daytime routine. Um, so you can check my Instagram story highlights. I have that all saved there, but I go with the powder so it does not deactivate over time. Vitamin C, if you don't know, is not shelf stable once it is in some kind of dissolved in some kind of liquid, um, it can go bad very fast. So this I know in the powder form is going to be stable for a long period of time and I can mix it myself and I mix it in my essence every morning before my sunscreen. It's a product that can be used day or night and I know that, but I cannot use this with acids. So since I like to use glycolic acid at night, this is a night only product because it can make your skin um, sensitive to uh, sunlight. So this is not for daytime. Um, knowing that, I know I have to then use this in the morning and this only at night. A big thing about whether a product is only for nighttime is if it is light sensitive. So this is a light sensitive product. Light sensitive in the sense that this will degrade in light, but it is not light sensitive in that it will inactivate once it's on the skin and under light, if that makes sense. So if you do, if you actually do read the research, it actually is better when exposed to light once it's on your skin in that form. Um, that gets complicated. I'm not going to explain it here, but um, two things to look out for if it's light sensitive, whether it inactivates the product when it hits light or when it actually degrades. Okay. So those are two different things. So this actually sensitizes your skin, making it more susceptible to photo damage. So you don't want to use this at night or at, during the day, only at night. The only other one that I use that is a night only is my retinol. And most retinols are for night um, because they do make your skin sensitive to sunlight. And then actually my, my rose seed hip oil, rose hip seed oil is also only for night. And I believe the only reason for that is because this is a very thick oil and it takes a good entire night for it to absorb and I don't think anyone wants to look all oily during the day so that's probably why that one is recommended for nighttime only. Okay so the next thing is looking for active ingredients that will actually deactivate each other like completely cancel each other out it's not gonna do any good and the main one with this line that I found is vitamin C and then niacinamide which I do not use that one specifically because I would rather have this. Um, and so that's one to look out for if you are looking to try some of these products. And in that category, I also think of ones that are going to do more harm than good, meaning that they might, especially when your skin is starting a new regimen um, and you are having to slowly introduce it to something like a retinol. So mine is 
one of the, the smallest percentages that the ordinary carries because I wasn't previously using one. And if you don't know, it can really make your dry, your skin dry and flaky if you use it too often when you're introducing your skin to that active. Um, the same goes with glycolic acid. You overuse this, you can get the same results. And that's why you don't wanna use two really strong actives on the same night. It can cause more inflammation in your skin, which will do a lot more harm than good. Um, and you don't want that. So I alternate. In fact, I only use this probably a couple times a week because it is pretty strong for my skin and use this, um, which is another direct acid only once a week. So this is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. This is the red mask. If you've ever seen my Instagram stories, I love this on Sunday nights. Um, it's a 10 minute exfoliation peel, but it is strong for my skin. Um, so the last thing is two similar ingredients together. And a great example would be using both of these. It is completely not necessary to use two AHA um, acids at the same time. This one's gonna exfoliate, this one's gonna exfoliate. Use them both together. You're gonna over exfoliate and cause more damage to your skin, okay? So this once to twice a week, same with this, not on the same night for sure. And this is a nighttime only product as well. Okay, so that was a little bit about how I decided what products to try, what order, what would be during my daytime and what's my nighttime routine. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how I do my nighttime routine and a little bit about each product I use and more information about why I chose and what it's supposed to be for. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so to start, I am a big believer in the double cleanse and not necessarily using two separate cleansers, which is what I used to do, but simply just removing the makeup in some fashion first and then cleansing the skin, okay? So if you've seen my morning routine, you know I'm a lover of the Simple brand. Um, they don't ever like make me break out or anything like that. So, um, I have heavy eye makeup and you guys know I use Lashify. So for those asking how I remove my eye makeup is not complicated. I use a wipe and I go all the way down to the lashes. And if need be, I get a cotton swab and get closer to the lash line. But um, for the most part, I just do that. And I'm clean. I got a lot of eye makeup on. So, um, and I'm just gonna take this off the rest of my face. Okay, first step done. And you don't have to worry about missing any because we're still going to cleanse. So I kind of let that dry because um, the milk cleanser is best on dry skin. So if you never heard me talk about milk, it's amazing because it's a non sudsing lotion. It's actually extremely moisturizing, real milk in here. And right now this bottle I have comes in a dropper. Um, I believe the new ones coming out will be a spray, but I just take one dropper full. So it's very important not to overuse your skincare products and use too much. Too much can actually break you out more, um, especially if you're not removing them properly. So that much, okay? And one thing that I should have 
said before we even started is big mistake that people make is not having clean hands. So always make sure you wash your hands before you start your nighttime skincare routine. Otherwise you're just going to be putting more bacteria on your face. So anyway, this is almost like a lotion. And what I do is I simply rub it around until it almost like dries out. So it feels like it's rubbed in, like you've rubbed in the lotion and it's absorbed because <laughs> you can't rub it in anymore. Then I'm gonna grab one of the mascara microfiber cloths and we'll see how much I missed with my wipe that damp and wring it out. I don't have to worry about splashing water on my face. And these are great because they exfoliate your skin at the same time. And you guys know I'm a self tanner. So some of this might be my tan I did this morning. So I hope I get all makeup. But you want to make sure you get all of that cleanser off and you can go around the eyes again. I'm sure most of this is probably tan because I'm just going to rub it right off, but it's okay. We can tan some more if need be. All right. So yikes. I sometimes flip it over. And go one more time. I have noticed breaking out without removing all this cleanser. Don't forget your neck. It's very important in skincare, right? I always seem to forget that area. Okay, so we are cleansed. The next step in the Tres Leche system is the toner. And to be honest, I use the toner. It's a little strong for my skin and it can dry me out. Um, I don't have acne prone skin, um, so I use it maybe every three days. Um, and that's just what works best for me. So I always tell my girls to experiment with it and I just do a few sprays. It's supposedly really good for sunburns and stuff like that. It takes the sting out. Um, I try not to ever burn, so I haven't actually tried that. Um, Okay, so we've cleansed, we've toned, and the next step in my process is um, copper. So this is called the Buffet by The Ordinary Brand, and this is the one that has copper peptides. So if you don't know what copper is, um, peptides are so good for your skin and anti-aging, and copper especially, and Google it, and you'll seriously want to add it to your skincare routine it is usually very expensive. Um, again, it's light sensitive, so it comes in an amber bottle and it's blue. So um, this is a really reasonable product for getting copper into your skincare routine at a decent price. You guys know I am frugal and I hate spending a lot of money on a product. I don't know if it works yet, but this stuff is gold. So this is for anti-aging. I simply squirt a little bit, maybe half of a dropper in my hand, and then I'm going to pat it all over my skin. And I do this first, so the order of your skincare routine is super important, okay? You always want to go from the most, I'll try to keep it simple, the most liquid, to the thickest so the thinnest consistency okay that's going to be like essences toners um things like that and this one is pretty liquidy um and if you research on like what products to do first this copper is one of the first products that way your skin's going to absorb it the most and you'll get the most results from it so I'm loving that. So let me back up for a second. So tonight I'm doing my retinol treatment. Um, I do every other night because retinol is a very strong active and you don't want to do it the same nights you're doing acids. So 
on the other nights I use glycolic acid toning solution and I simply just put this on a cotton round put it all over my face and this is great for exfoliating um, if your skin is sensitive this might be a little strong for you it's a 7% solution um, and I just do that every other night so tonight is my retinol night um, another rule of thumb if you really want to get sciencey about it is you're doing different pH levels as you go through your skincare system so that is why I'm doing this in a certain order okay um, and the whole Trace Leches line is all about balancing your skin's pH which I think is a lot of people overlook and they're just putting too many harsh products on their face trying to clear it up but if you balance the pH of your skin it's going to be happy and all those breakouts will cease I mean everyone has hormonal breakouts of you know occasionally but for the most part you get clear skin so I'm just trying to deal with a lot of hyperpigmentation um, mainly this guy and hyperpigmentation is not fun to try to get rid of We're just using skincare unless you're going to do like, you know, plastic surgery, not plastic surgery, but you know, harsher methods, which I'm not quite there yet. So I'm doing what I can with the products I've got. So next is hyaluronic acid, which I'm sure all of you have heard about. This one is by NIOD, which is a sister company of uh, DCM brands, which owns The Ordinary, it owns this one and quite a few other ones. This is the more expensive version of Ordinary, um, but I had read that their hyaluronic acid is much, much better than the Ordinary one, so I wanted to give it a try. Tiny bottle, but a little goes a very long way. I literally do, maybe, and this is very liquidy, um, like straight up water. So three drops, pat it into the skin. It's a little sticky, but it goes away as it's absorbed. So this is for moisture. It holds moisture into the skin, like so amazingly. And most of mascara's skincare has these ingredients in it. I just like to add more actives. Um, and I love the Ordinary's brand because you can really develop a regimen based on what your skin wants and what your skin needs and then pick out those few things and like increase the quality, the quantity of those key ingredients to help your skin, if that makes sense. So I love that I can simply pick things based on what my skin needs maybe more of and go from there. And then you can kind of assess it and see if something doesn't work, try something else. And so far, my lineup has really helped my skin balance out. Um, and yes, I still have hyperpigmentation, but besides that, um, I'm no longer dry. My redness is slowly going away. And um, I haven't even been using these products for a full three months yet. And that's usually when your skin's really gonna take a turn. Um, and you'll be able to see really good results at that point. So I've got, all right, so we did my buffet, hyaluronic acid, and now I'm gonna go in with my eye serum. So I've currently been using Dr. Dennis Gross, and this is the Ferulic and Retinol. Awesome, retinol's awesome. Ferulic makes retinol work even better. Um, and this takes very little. I usually use my caffeine in the morning because usually my eyes are super puffy. But I love this because this is a 360s, meaning like my problem area is my lids, okay? It's genetic and it's just no fun. But I want full, <laughs> I need the full, full thing. So um, this one, and you have to be careful because not all serums or eye creams you can do this with. So you want to make sure it says it's 360 for you to be able to put it on your lid. So I'm going to go on my ring finger and I'm literally using the smallest amount. Okay. I'm going to tap them together and this has the least amount of pressure of any finger and I'm going to just tap it 
all the way up on my eyelids and try to keep it about my orbital bone. You could feel it right there. Um, too close to your eye and it actually can make you retain water and make your eyes puffier in the morning. So if you feel like you're getting extra puffy, um, your serum or eye cream might be too close. So back it up a little. It will travel up to an inch overnight um, and you're still going to see those results there. So now I'm going to go in with my retinol and the one I chose from the ordinary is Grand Active Retinoid 2% in squalene and squalene is like one of the best moisturizers um, in the world for your skin. It's the most like your natural moisture. Um, so this is a very stable and I started with 2% because I'm introducing retinol into my skincare. Um, I believe they even have like lower than this, but you know, I'm getting up there. I need to use at least something that's going to show me some results pretty quickly. And so this isn't a dropper as well. And I try to just kind of stick with three for now and see how my skin is doing with it. Once again, I just press it all over and try to go all the way up around my eyes, but my serum has retinol in it as well. Um, even the Trace Late Trace system does, but you know, this is like an extra vitamin shot, right? It's just going to help. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to help. So, um, okay. So very well, it's not very last. Um, all right, then I'm going to go in with moisture. So I've got all my actives on and, um, sometimes I switch the order of these last two and some, you know, I can't really figure out how I like it more. Usually people say do oils very last. Um, so that's usually what I do, but every once in a while I put my cream on last because our milk cream is so thick and luxurious. Like sometimes I'm like, can the oils penetrate this bad boy? It's so, so good. But um, either way, I wake up in the morning and everything has been absorbed. So I think it's fine. Um, so I'll go ahead and do the cream first. And this is the money maker right here. This is what made me fall in love with mascara. I just do one pump, okay? I distribute and I'm real big about <laughs> patting it into my skin and if you're gonna rub rub away from gravity okay and then sometimes I get fancy and put all my oils and roll my face too but for now I'll just show you the basic skincare so you can tell my skin loves that I've got a glow you know it's good. Okay, so then the last thing, and sometimes I mix this with vitamin E, but for the most part, I use 100% organic rose hip seed oil. I will warn you, this stuff does smell organic. Kind of took me back for a little bit when I first tried it, but it's definitely good. And I usually only do a couple of drops. Um, a little goes a long way. You wanna warm it up in your hands. And then press it on. Whew, it's strong. It's definitely strong. But I go to bed an oily mess. <laughs> I am obsessed with oils. I've tried many and I love them all. And you can mix any oils you want. So um, you guys have probably seen I love myself tanning drops and when I do this at night and I feel like I took off all my tan and I need some glow before morning, I will mix this in with my cream. And that on days, those days, I'll just put my oil on first or I'll just leave it out and I'll mix this because this has a great skincare benefits in it as well. And I'll be good to go. I'll be glowing in the morning, but okay, I feel like I'm all absorbed. Um, the last thing I do is I pop on my, you can't forget your lips. The milk cream is actually really good for your lips as well, but I love the 
texture of this. And yes, I threw away the applicator and I used my nail. I'm so fancy. And I'm obsessed with this. It's actually a mask, but I feel like everyone I know that uses it, it literally uses it as a lip balm and they put it on all the time. It smells good. It's amazing. Amazing. This brand is another Korean uh, K Beauty fave. Um, and then this isn't really face related. I love my skin food for my hands. Okay. Um, and I usually will take even the leftover milk cream and oils and I'll rub them on the back of my hands if I have any leftover. Um, because you know what? We age there too. But right now I'm obsessed with skin food for my cuticles and my hands. And I think that's it. I feel like I missed something, but that's my routine. All right, hopefully it helped to see all those products in action, exactly what I do and why I use them. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to reach out, comment below, and let me know. I'd be happy to help with anything I can. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Love y'all.